that we have here is extracting embedded GD&T. Um, the GD&T, this comes from the CAD, uh, PMI information. So we'll show you this. This is saving time of creating the tolerances in, action, in the software. Um, we're actually going to jump into a different model real quick. Some of you may or may not be familiar with this model, but it, it is one of our commonly used models. So this scenario here is based off of the CAD designer or designer, someone within the company here puts the FTNA on the parts. So you don't have to create the DCS tolerances. So if you get parts that have GDNT already on them, the steps to embed and pull that GDNT into the software is as follows. We have the update model button. If I click on the little drop down here, we have a few different update uh, buttons and uh, deletes. <clears throat> the third button over here, we have an update GDNT. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And we get a small dialog box here. <clears throat> this dialog is um, used to choose if we wanna extract from, push to, if we wanna do all components, parts only, products only. Um, and we also have different things such as replacing the GD&T, uh, kind of if you're refreshing, uh, then we can select the part assembly or view or tree. So once this comes up, I'm going to go ahead and just select the top level. So as soon as I do that here, let me just bring this over and search FDT results. 18 GDNT callouts were extracted successfully. So I'm just going to hit OK. And I'm going to exit this little dialog box we have here. Um, now when I look in the tree here, parts, and I look at what, let me just expand all these here. We have a smaller model, so we can look at that. Uh, we do ha now have a GDNT list. I'll expand on that a little bit, uh, just so we can see all of them. So anytime I hover over one of these GDNT callouts, it also highlights the mesh on the parts. So, you know, some of these get to be a little confusing. Uh, we got a lot of GDNT, a lot of CAD. As soon as I hover over one, it quickly highlights that surface as well as the callout. Uh, same with positions. I see some uh, profiles here, uh, profile positions. So we have a lot of different GDNT callouts. <clears throat> each one of these here, we have five GDNT, five. So each one here had the datums, and it looks like a uh, surface profile. Now this here, if I double click on one of these. You know, I can I can mess with the description, and I can update it if the CAD designer or if the GDNT has been updated. Um, so it's a it's a quick way. Instead of adding the DCS tolerances, we can pull the GDNTs. <clears throat> Again, if you have more questions, uh, definitely chat them in. Uh, looks like Ben has a question. Just real quick. So the dialog boxes that you're using. Are they the same in NX and in Creo for embedded GDT? Um, I believe that they're common in NX Creo Multicad, and we have better ones in V5. And we are currently working on uh, getting better GUIs for the other platforms for the 7410 release. Gotcha. So um, using embedded GDMT is just as simple in NX and in Creo. And I will actually add a video that showcases how to use embedded PMI and NX in the follow up email. Now, with MultiCAD, we can use embedded GDMT and MultiCAD as well. I believe you need the Power Pack license. And, but yeah, when we bring in CAD data from other platforms that has the PMI, it will get extracted when we create uh, create the HSF files for MultiCAD. So what Brenda just means there is there are two translators you can get for MultiCAD. One works with STEP and IGES, 
And then the advanced one, the Power Pack, works with your native CAD files and can use embedded GDNT, which is your PMI, your FTA. Now, once I import it, can I modify that GDNT? Absolutely. Yep, so you can uh, modify it. Also, you know, sometimes we have a bunch of uh, updates. Uh, the CAD guy can update it, send it to you, and you update it, or you can you have the capability to update it right here. Right. <clears throat> One last question. So I know we can do feature base tolerances, right? Feature tolerances mm -hmm. and point tolerances. And we can do a combination of the two. Absolutely. Right. So you can use point based tolerances or feature based tolerances or modeling methods together. Right? Yeah. Right, so if some of your CAD has some of this FTNA or PMI on it, some doesn't, it doesn't affect us here. So we definitely have models where we have both of those. Okay. Right. Let's see. Yeah, um, if I recall correctly, it, uh, it varies the tolerances first and then the GDT. So if you have a feature size tolerance, um, your GDT, if it's got bonus, will actually pick it up. Um, Nice. Unless it's vice versa, so <laughs> check, check first. All right. All right, so that's what we have for the extracting embedded GDNT PMI. So this is just a picture of the dialog box in Katia. Again, for same with all these tips, they can be done across all platforms.